let's talk about Vinci SA, which is a French construction and engineering group. Yeah, interesting company established at the end of the last century. So in other words, like 1899 in France, it had the name CGE or CDE, SGE, beg your pardon, up until 20... 2000, 2000, that's what I'm trying I to say, help you up guys. to the year 2000, okay, <laughs> then it became Vinci and it emerged and has become like a big branded player in global, or particularly European markets, but it's certainly the largest by turnover. Of Market the world. cap 39.6 billion euros, PE ratio 17.2 and a dividend yield of 1.9%. Let's get your thoughts on... Vinci? Yeah, so Vinci, Vinci. Yeah, I mean, Vinci, it's an incredible company because, I mean, just, just the, the longevity, I mean, that's something that, that speaks for itself in construction. Because remember, construction is also something that doesn't have uh, really annuity income streams because you've always got to be looking for the next project. I mean, if you look at the, the projects it's done over the years, also fantastic. It actually built a Kharip Dam as well, but uh, it built the channel. So it built the, the channel tunnel uh, between uh, France and, and England and the UK. So it also built, uh, you know, the world's largest suspension bridge. So, so a huge amount of projects. Projects, but um, you know, really, where I, I suppose they're trying to drive the, the annuity kind of income from is, is their concessions business as well. Mm. It's also buying toll roads now in, in in Lima. But even those, I mean, they have a lifespan. So I mean, the one they're buying in Lima at the moment, I think only only going to run until Lima and Peru. In Peru, yeah, they, they, okay. they're, they're doing real estate developments in Colombia. <laughs> They've got all sorts. So they, they, they really so they're really well diversified. I mean, I mean, they're one, yeah, they're basically by revenue terms, they're the world's largest construction company. So. Let's have a look at the share price graph. Gives mm. us a sense of the mm. performance. Yep, and that uh, is the one in France. So. That is interesting. So we've got the code DG. I don't know why it has the code DG, but that is where it's listed. And uh, yeah, it's on that European market. That's in euros. And you'll see that it's close to its all-time high. So its all-time high, I think, was 69 euros. Here it is at 66. Mm. So obviously, the combination of their engineering skills and the better annuity revenues of concessions is what the market is like. And that is a, a graph that you are not likely to see in the <laughs> South African <laughs> space when it comes to the construction story here no, locally. A, absolutely. I, I mean, again, I, within that graph, I mean, they, they do do share buyback programs and that. But I mean, I, actually, an incredibly, incredibly stable uh, share price performer uh, when compared to you know other other uh, construction shares you know locally and internationally I mean if you look at also sort of the operating metrics I mean they their return on equity has been significantly better than most of its peers I mean I, I don't even know these peers <laughs> but like I mean Effiage uh, Company de Saint Coban uh, Atlantia like I mean these are but all other large this is large the one cap. that stands out that, that's it, what it is and, and I think I mean you, you are paying a premium for, for its size as well because obviously there are compet you know there is a competitive advantage no, no one else can do the, the kind of mega projects that they do so yeah. you are paying for that that moat as well but uh, if you look at the ownership as well very very strong institutional backing um, the nice thing about and these big international shareholder base as well exactly so this is of France. Yeah, exactly so this is not just a French ownership I mean I think 56 percent of the mm. the ownership is actually sits outside France as well um, and, and again the nice thing with these almost uh, mega cap companies I mean this is also this company is many multiple times the size of our entire construction industry um, you get obviously that that sell side analyst coverage as well so I mean you've got 22 you've got Merrill Lynch Goldman Sachs all covering the stock no sales, three holds, all buyers. So mm -hmm. definite, definitely uh, an argument to be made if you are looking to diversify an offshore portfolio, trying to get out of sort of the standard. I just want to uh, really focus in on what you've said mm -hmm. there. So mm -hmm. um, it is all buys at the moment from the analyst community. Three holds. Three two, holds. Yeah, so 22 sell side analysts covering it, three holds, the rest all buys and strong all buys. buys. And yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we're looking at a stock that is trading at all-time highs in the construction space. I think that speaks for, for mm -hmm. itself. Absolutely. They've diversified in recent years to buying companies like Tarmax Building Division. They bought Sedgelec. Recently, they bought the Portuguese Aeroporto de Portugal because, in effect, an airport is like a toll operation, if you think about it. You know, people passing through, you get to charge the airplanes as they land and so on and so forth. So Can we call it hot or not? Yeah, in, uh, qualify. We don't we don't hold, we don't hold these in offshore portfolios. Yeah. But I think if you are building an offshore portfolio and, you, and you'd like to get some sector diversification, you know, looking at a mega cap like this, Probably not a bad idea. So well I'm let's just go, put our go, hat in with I'm all those other I'm analysts that I'm are calling go it hot. a buy. Yeah, You're going to go, go hot, yeah, Paul, go hot, hot or not? You got it. I'm a bit anti the sector and I'm a bit anti French companies, I must <laughs> tell you. Not because there's anything he wrong with France. He loves to buck the trend. Because there's like 30% dividend withholding taxes plus mm. more when you buy these things. So mm. I'm no going to go not hot, sorry to say. 